I don't know. I don't even know if these were good examples, but you know, just stay focused. Stay focused on your goals. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the progress that I'm making and some other people are making in uh, just the vegan situation. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's changed in my life recently. And, uh, you know, it's what I've learned kind of. I mean, this whole experience is, is a learning process. And if I said I had it all figured out, I'd be lying to you, so. Um, but as some of you know from one of my videos here not too long ago, I recently uh, inspired somebody to make some changes to their diet, so they've gone, you know, mostly plant-based, eating a lot of vegan foods, and uh, definitely, you know, they seem happy. Like, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy for them in that sense. And I'm not gonna like, you know, say who and like try to you know put any pressure on them because that's the last thing I want to do is like you know make make it a some kind of a stressful situation and put pressure on them to to not screw up or whatever. I don't think that's what it's all about you know if you're able to inspire somebody to make some change I mean you know you kind of have to uh, be supportive so that's that's my whole goal but uh, ironically at the same time of this is going on. I'm taking a, uh, a customer service course at work and so my company's paying for every Wednesday afternoon. It's actually in our conference room but some of the businesses around the area are uh, sending a couple people as well. So there's like nine of us or something like that and just talking about internal customer service and, and really just like foundations for relationships and understanding other people. It's a really, really cool course. I'm enjoying it. And it's a pretty uh, diverse group of people in the room, but at the same time, there's a lot of similarities. And uh, so recently, unfortunately, one of the women missed uh, a class last week. And we found out this Wednesday when she came back that it was because she actually had to be rushed to the hospital and they actually had to stop her heart and then started again. She's been diagnosed with a heart condition and I mean essentially heart disease that uh, really just messes up her entire uh, pulse. And, and yeah, I, I don't know all of the details to be quite honest. I mean obviously she was just sharing what she wanted to share and I didn't really want to pry but uh, but I know that she's on like beta blockers and all these medications and stuff like that. And it's a scary situation for sure. She seems like a really, really nice woman. So uh, I was sad to hear. Um, but at the end of the day, I felt like it was absolutely my duty. I kind of felt like it was my duty just to um, share a couple of resources that may help. I mean, I'm not a doctor by any means, but. I do value the work of uh, the doctors, you know, Colin Campbell, um, Esselstyn, uh, Dr. Greger, you know, all of, all of these plant-based nutritionists. And, you know, I really do respect them and I respect the work that they've done and I think that there's a lot of value in it and, you know, you've been able to see the transformations the different testimonials and stuff in Forks Over Knives, uh, nutritionfacts.org is obviously a great resource as well. So I gave her those resources to check out and uh, you know I told her, I was like look I'm not claiming to be a doctor, I'm not saying this is going to help you, but it's worth a shot. I mean just watch the documentary and you know if you have any other questions I mean check out nutritionfacts.org has a YouTube channel as well, and you know, but you know, just start thinking about these things because this could be a, a, you know, could be out. And she actually surprised me. She said that for the most part, she does eat vegetarian, and um, the topic of veganism came up. And 
was like, yeah, like she was, you know, very open to it. So I, I think that it's just another example of, I guess the whole point of me sharing this is, it's just another example of how just a small gesture in a non-threatening way can potentially initiate change. And, you know, you see a couple of different appeals, like the person that I was talking about before who I inspired, you know, that was a, a little bit of a moral dilemma for them as well as a little bit of a, of a health issue as well. So, you know, that was kind of their motivation. Whereas this woman, obviously the motivation would be health, but it's just, I like to share these examples, not because I, you know, I feel like any kind of an egotistical reaction to it, but because I feel like these are perfect examples of how someone can change the world. I, mean, I just watched a video by uh, Earthling Ed. He was doing some amazing street interviews and he was talking to this one guy and, you know, the guy was like, one person can't change the world and then within like a minute realized, wow, yeah, one person can change the world. And you just gotta put it into perspective. And, you know, that's all going to ripple outward. So, if you want to make change, first of all, be the change. And then just create awareness. So, um, yeah, and the, uh, the last part that I wanted to talk about today, kind of on this same little topic, is that the woman who's putting the course on is uh, primarily plant-based. Her son is vegan. And... Um, yeah, she, uh, she's definitely been a pretty good supporter and I've helped her out like, you know, finding some places, locating some things in stores around the area and such, but uh, she made a, even though she's not vegan, she made um, a university project that she needed to put together on the topic of veganism. So she gets the, uh, the importance of it. and. I'm not going to share it, I'm not going to do anything like that because it's, it's not mine to do that with, but it was really, really amazing and um, hopefully, um, so if you're watching, keep this in mind, hopefully we can, uh, we can collaborate and do something, maybe a little interview or something because I thought it was a really, really great uh, little video and I'd love to be able to share it around, but yeah, it's just cool, you know, like, there's just, it, it's so on the rise, and when, two years ago, when I was, like, getting into this, I, I, I kind of, like, I took it seriously, obviously, like, I wanted to, you know, go vegan, and I wanted to become a YouTuber, and I wanted to, you know, help spread the message, but I don't think I really understood the kind of impact that a person can have when you put your focus into things. And it goes with anything, not just, you know, not just veganism and spreading that message, but it really does go with anything. Like, it just, it's amazing how much we can accomplish when we just put our intent and our energy towards that. Alright, so in the interest of time, I'm going to just leave this, uh, cut this off now, but yeah, just if you ever doubt yourself, if you ever doubt your ability to, uh, to change the world or, or just, you know, get out of life what you want, um, hopefully examples like this will, I don't know, I don't even know if these were good examples, but, you know, just stay focused. Stay focused on your goals and when you put energy in motion, good things happen. So, um, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I see that Dylan really loves this video. She wanted to get in it before it was over. So, yeah, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And just keep doing your thing. Really appreciate you guys' support. And appreciate all the other great activists out there who are spreading the vegan message uh, in the way that they know how. And drama-free. So, alright, peace guys. See you next time.